This is my team member, Ismail Amr Amara, the same department, senior one level. Our objective of today's presentation will be to discuss the main points we have acquired through this summer training here in Baker Hughes. Please, our presentation will be 10 minutes, any questions will be taken at the end. Our trainers in this uh, summer, co uh, summer training were Engineer Dari Bok, Jair Wali Shabini, Jair Ahmed Smail. Our agenda for today's presentation will be as follows. We will first have some information about Baker Hughes. We will then go through a safety moment. We will talk about draining fluids. We will go through lab equipment and lab tests. First of all, we are going to talk about some information about Baker Hughes. Baker Hughes deal with oil and gas industries. And it was founded in 1997. Headquarter is in Houston, Texas, United States. Chad Dayton is the chairman and the CEO. The products are oil field services equipment and the revenue in 2010 were $14.4 billion. The total assets in 2010 were $22.8 billion. The total employees in 2010 were 56,000 employees all over the world. Bigger use have many divisions such as Entec. Entec provides services uh, for uh, directional drilling and uh, uh, MWD and LWD. There is also HCC which uh, uh, provides service, services for uh, drill bits. BHTF, Baker Hughes Drilling Fluids, which provides drilling fluids systems. BOT, Baker Oil Tools, which provides well completion and work over. BJ provides uh, pressure pumping and BPC uh, provides uh, production chemicals uh, and so on. Atmos. Baker Atmos provides wired line well logging. And finally, center lift, which provides artificial lifting and pumping. Now we are going to talk about the safety. HSNE stands for Health, Safety and Environment. To ensure safety, we must control the risk. The risk equation, as you see, equals frequency multiplied by consequences. So, if we have a dangerous accident happen, so the consequences is very high. So we must decrease the frequency and the rate by, by which this accident happens. We observe in our training here that uh, the safety is very well. There were many restrictions uh, faced us such as we were not able to enter the workshop without wearing the PPE and uh, in the lab we used to wear the lab coat and read the MSDS before using any computer. Let's imagine with me that this is the formation we want to drill to hit a target away from the surface about 20,000 feet. What will happen if we want to drill this long distance without having something to move the cuttings from the well to the surface. Of course, the hole and the well will collapse. Therefore, we need something to carry this cuttings from the hole to the surface. We need a draining fluid. A draining fluid is any fluid that is circulated through a well bore. The draining fluid has many functions. It provides, it provides a static pressure to balance the formation pressure it, it uh, prevents the well from collapsing, it lubricates and cools the bit, and the most important that it uh, removes the cutting from the well to the surface. The drain fluid is composed of mainly water based mud or oil based mud, but some companies drain with using uh, air or foam. There are some additives added to the drilling fluid to acquire it uh, further and some properties, such as this specified. The specifier may be uh, bentonite. There is also weighing material such as the barite. There is also pH controlling such as uh, caustic soda. And there is also fluid, fluid loss reducer such as milk There are other additives such as emulsifiers and uh, surfactants and lubricants and so on. Mopans is used to measure the weight of the mud in PPG or in pound per barrel. Uh, 
The Marsh Flower and the Marsh Cup is used to measure the viscosity of any fluid in seconds. The viscometer. The viscometer is used to measure the yield point in 100 pounds per feet square and the plastic viscosity in centipoles. There is also the API fluid loss. API fluid loss uh, operates at low temperature and low pressure. Uh, through this cell we get a filtrate in uh, CC or millimeter here and this filtrate is done on it further chemical tests like uh, uh, salinity tests, hardness tests and so on. There is also the fuming hood. This fuming hood is used to evacuate the samples and the glasses from uh, fumes and uh, smokes. This action is very wrong such as the fuming hood, this glass door must be closed to protect the lab from any fumes or any disaster and so on. This is not in my lab. Okay. I was going to say, that's not a place to use, I hope. Might be cured for cases of urination. Might be cured is a new product introduced by Vega Fuse to the market. Its function is to remove the damage of the uh, near the well board. As you can see in the picture, the might be cured will go down in the well and clean the perforations and the damage in the well board. Also, microcure is used to increase the production. As you see here in this chart, before using microcure, the production is about 18,000 cubic foot. But after using microcure, the production increased to 140,000 cubic foot. Now we are going to talk about some lab tests. First is the microcure testing. We used in it a viscometer, a thermocup, and also a thermometer. In this test, we do it in a two samples, with microcure and without microcure. We operate the viscometer and at different RPMs, and we take the readings. We observed finally that with using microcure, we get better results than without using microcure. There is other, other tests, which is chemical testing impurity test. This test is used to um, know the amount of impurities inside the calcium chloride, so as to use it as an additive for the mud. We know the amount of impurities by using filtration method. Measuring viscosity. To measure the viscosity of any fluid, we will need a marsh funnel, a marsh cup, a lab mixer, and a stopwatch. Using the lab mixer, we mix the amounts needed and, and we'll see the corresponding uh, viscosity. And this viscosity is measured in seconds. And it's the time needed to settle down one part in the marsh, from the marsh funnel to the marsh cup. In conclusion, we are seeking in the near future to be one of the big reviews team. Until then, we'll do our best to improve our knowledge and our skills. To be qualified to play a role in big review success. We seize this opportunity to thank everyone who helped us in this presentation and gave us knowledge and so on. Uh, especially uh, engineer Dalia Wat and uh, engineer uh, Ahmed Ismail and the engineer uh, where should be. Any questions? Rick Townsend looks at me. Uh, you guys can ask questions as well, of course, because you know, we, we have too many product lines to have everybody go to, all of them. So if you have any questions about this, then feel free to ask. Um, that's a good presentation, guys. Um, you, you fitted in a lot of information very quickly. Um, uh, I, I would. One of the things I would recommend is to run a spell check on your presentations. Just one thing. Um, I, I'm, the, I'm lucky that I'm, I come from London, so English is my, fun, is my native language. So just uh, it's uh, worth using a spell check from PowerPoint. Um, no, actually, you know what? You told me something there. Uh, rather, I've been working with Fake Youth 20 years, and I've never heard about a March Cup and a March funnel. It's basic stuff. Yeah, I know about viscosity, but I've never, actually worked, never known how you, um, how you measure it. 
So it's actually uh, it's very good for me. I'm, I'm happy to have learned something today. I haven't got any questions actually. These are very comprehensive products. Thanks. And what we'll do, we'll do your certificates at the end.